Farmers markets are coming up. Do you have your farmers market signs ready? I'm gonna show you how to make one that I really liked over the years. Um, this is my favorite, it's sturdy, and um, I'll walk you through it. Hey you guys, I'm up at the butcher, and I have some signs that I made from old barn wood and some of this amazing hardware. Got it at Home Depot, I'll show you what it is exactly. Um, and these are some of my favorite signs because of the wind. They're so sturdy, this wood. Also, you don't have to be so careful with them when you put them away. And when it rains, yeah, this paper will get wet for sure. But at least you can, you can just keep scrolling it down, right? And fix it or just get it out of the rain. Um, this one right here is amazing. I found this light just out in the bar, actually just out in the farm. So, and you can actually put a light inside and then put it back on, right? You can have it blinking or a different color or something that's really fun. It's hard to see um, if it's if it's really bright outside, right? I wouldn't do that, but I wouldn't do that. But if it's dark, if you have an inside market, it's awesome. So um, what's also amazing is in the wind, we put these rubber bands on to hold it down. And what I found actually is I would put more screws in here right here and put them up here as well, just to hold this paper down also. Here's another one I did. This one doesn't have room for pictures on top, but what I would do is write right here, like grass fed beef or we'd write, you know, pastured chicken. And this one I do. And so we have a few of these different signs. One for beef, one for pork, one for chicken. And eggs, and then one for our skincare made with animal fat. And I found this out in the farm also, this amazing chain. Isn't that awesome? It's just for looks. It actually unhooks here. And actually what I was doing is keeping the pen on here for this one. I would have like a Sharpie okay. and I put that there. So another rubber band would go here to here just to hold the paper down. And this is awesome. You find this, here's a washer. Go to the rebar section of Home Depot. And I'll show you what that looks like. And that's what this is. And then right here is just um, eye bolts. Use these eye bolts right here and you screw them in. Then you take this, hold it in right here, and it goes through. You have your washer, and it's so easy to change out because you'll need to change it out. You go through this paper quite a bit, and here it is right here, actually in action. Awesome, it's really cute. People actually really stop and comment on the signs. This is a piece of wood. If you don't have barn wood, obviously you can use anything. Um, let me show you though the back of you, how it's laying, how it's sitting. You see that? So people could read the signs really well. You don't want them too flat or too up. So cool. Okay, so this is, this one is for the skincare. You need to hold something in the back. So if you're doing um, testing, testers, you know, we had these business cards in here. You could do these tester sticks for sampling. You can do prices. Let me see if this one has, it doesn't. You could put the pricing on it because I always forgot exactly. We had so, we have so many products that I didn't remember the pricing. So we'd put the price list on here, especially if people were helping us out that day. Um, we would have pasture chicken price and eggs. And so that was also amazing. Let me show you when you pull this down that this is on a hinge. 
for easy storage. We would get those Costco black and yellow container boxes. And I'm gonna show you that hinge. There it is. Tied to that um, two hole strap right here. And again, it lays flat. So this is one of my favorite ones. I've used picture frames. The thing is with picture frames, you guys, is that they get wet and then the pictures inside will get wet and then it's impossible to get the picture off the glass. The back of this one right here, I just used wood that um, we weren't, you know, using. Scrap wood right here. It's like I did this one a little bit differently. I just used scrap hardware that I found lying around right here. I'm going to show you how this goes. Okay, this one, there's the hinge, that one. This is a single hole strap. There it is. So it stops right there. Again, we just needed for it to lay down. And so um, they would be easier to carry. The thing is with these, I will say that they're heavy, but it also makes them sturdy. They're just my favorite. They won't blow down in the winter. You can get these rolls off, I think they're 12 inches. Uh, maybe 10, nine, I'll have to check that out. You can also go to the paint section uh, of Home Depot and it's, it's thinner. It's thinner, but if you don't have time to order off Amazon and you just swing over to Home Depot, it would work in a pinch. It's just thinner and it's, um, harder to see the, the letters just cause it's thin. It will work for sure, but it's like more waxy than paper like. So there it is. Get this rebar and those nut and bolts. Get some cute um, accessories for whatever you find on the farm or at a thrift store, whatever you got in your junk box. These are my absolute favorite. They're cool, huh?